Well, what's going on, guys? Me, the Ninja here, and we're here for another exciting, um, up, uh, another exciting, um, hookup, uh, another monthly hookup video, uh, thanks to the awesomeness of the Lemon Gamer, aka my friend Anthony Lemon Jello. Now, um, here's the thing here. Okay, sorry this one was a bit late, but like I said, we've been having some, like, troubles trying to fix something, you know. Uh, with the laptop that my wife has, with the, we thought it was the Wi-Fi, this and this and that, so, yeah, there have been a lot of things that were kind of making this video a bit more flare than usual, but I think now we're good. I think now we should be fine, we should be good. All right, so my bad for this one being a bit more flare than usual, but finally, it is what it is. All right, so we're finally here with that. All right. So as always, people, be sure to rate the video, comment, subscribe, click on that bell, join the squad, boys. Follow us on your plugins, give me a chance to further ado. Let's get this just started. All right, so, all right, so, um, you might already know what one of the main, main items is going to be, but one of these I think I already have already, but not, not this, but someone else. Anyways, um, anyways, yeah, so, especially because perfect timing, because there's one thing that's actually going to be an unboxing this time, so, yeah. For a chance of that, right? Anyways, so, um, this is the one and only awesome thing. Now, this is one of the collection things, obviously, when it comes to the, these, uh, like, figures and whatnot. This one I definitely don't have, I believe, because I double chat that I don't really have this one. But, yeah, this one is the awesomeness. And if you have seen this movie, I highly do recommend it, though. It's a really cool movie. Really enjoyed it. The one and only Shazam. Eh, the Shazam Justice League little tiny figure thing. So, yeah. Very cool, awesome. She says it's a pretty good movie. I actually had a chance to watch it. Very good stuff right there. So yeah. Uh, next is the. Um, oh wait, I already have this already. I guess it's probably like an extra one. But yeah, you guys seen this one before though. It's one of those uh, Pokemon bookmarks. Forget the name of this Pokemon. Chestnut one. Kind of forget his name, but yeah, there's that. So yeah. Uh, this is something you guys already seen. I guess he must have probably forgot. But yeah, I have the same exact. One, I believe, yeah, I should still have the same exact one. So, yeah, this I do remember. I actually do have that. So, yeah. So, pretty cool, though. I mean, I do like the holographic. Uh, yeah, I do like that. <laughs> and then it goes into the evolved form, which is pretty cool. All right. So, um, yeah. So, this next thing right here is, well, it's something that rather is you really enjoy the franchise or don't really enjoy it as much anymore due to somebody's very, very bad, you know, hot take and whatnot. And if that's the case, then yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know this is definitely something from, you know, that series right here, which is uh, whether you love it or hate it, uh, up to you pretty much. And, you know, it's, you know, bad take. You know that somebody made which you know that's why you gotta separate nowadays the art from the artist and that's why i always say that it's it, it's nothing though compared to that's nothing when it comes to the horrible bad take that this person that they did compared to this other person which i find to be more of a heinous crime you know to be honest and it's just like yeah you can't really you know you can't really look at something you know kind of the same anymore like you know what i mean in in some sort of ways like yeah 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 anyways so this one is from yes it's from that series in case you guys want to know here it is which is right here yes harry potter right here so yeah this is from that so yeah uh, i believe this is a it looks like a triforce but i believe it's supposed to be the thunderbolt i think it's from one of the houses i don't really remember but yeah so uh anyways yeah so there's that uh, that's pretty cool uh don't really, really recognize it too much but yeah anyways yeah, yeah so anyways yeah so yeah it's pretty cool anyways <laughs> so yeah anyways so the next thing basically is a uh something that's actually very useful and i'm definitely probably gonna need it you know when i definitely need it for the time being um yeah especially when i'm definitely gonna need it you know like for the time being and whatnot so of course i am talking about uh uh, yeah, so of course, when it comes to this, it's something that's really important, so I may actually use this especially for, uh, when I actually want to do, like, more time on the actual videos and whatnot. Uh, I do, well, mainly for, like, the Switch stuff and whatnot, so behold, this is a USB drive, uh, really cool, I mean, it does, it looks like a vape, but it's not, it's a 
yeah, uh, USB drive thing. So yeah, pretty cool. Got to check out how many gigs is this on it though. But very cool though, very nice. So thanks for that. Definitely gonna check the gigs and see how much that's gonna be a lot for. Now let's get to some of the. Oh wait, before we do, before we get to some of the game, a uh, few games and a few movies. Um, one last actual just like regular swag item. This is something really fucking cool. This I did not expect that I was gonna get this, but. This came with something extra when, like, he actually ordered his stuff, so... This was just there. I mean, just like the last time, how I got an autographed, angry video game nerd, um, little, uh, fan art poster thing, which is really cool. This is on a whole different level. This is really cool, and it's from a beloved franchise that, you know, I grew up with this franchise, obviously. Well, kind of grew up with it. It was also, like, starting out teenage year-wise, when his anime first came out, Adult Swim and whatnot. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only awesomeness, which is known as Cowboy Bebop Reloaded, which we know is the uh, the movie, obviously, yeah. They will risk the biggest bounty ever for the truth. Yeah, this is for the uh, the movie, yeah. This is the Cowboy Bebop movie, yeah, if I remember, yeah. Cowboy Bebop movie, and it is, well, yeah, you can tell this is a really, really, really old poster, you can tell. It's very, very old. You can tell by some of the dents and whatnot. But very rare, very collectible. So, yeah. Signed, autographed, Cowboy Bebop. Reloaded poster. Love the series. Got that in the movie. Of course, definitely an all-time certified certified hood classic anime, obviously. So, Sorry, I'm a little thirsty. Anyways. So. <coughs> well, it's not good. Whoa, a little bit too hard. Anyways, so, now we're going to go into the good shit. So first, we're going to get to a couple of gaming stuff. Um, one, I don't really specifically know what this game is, per se. And number two, there's another one that I basically do know off from the bats from the movie. So first thing, this one is a PlayStation 2 game. I don't even know how to describe this, to be honest, because I think it's from, like, a DC comic thing or something like that? I don't know, because, again, I'm not too familiar with this, but if you know, well, you know. This is Prism Chapter 1, The Dark Unicorn, plus Prism Comic. I don't think the comic really is inside, but, yeah, T T T D K. what? T-D-K, sorry. My brain is not doing the brain thing. T-D-K. TDK, which is the company that does Kodak films and shit like that, or those like weird strip roll films or whatever the fuck. So, okay then, all right. What the fuck is this? Jam, Jam Pack Summer 2003. What the flying fuck is this shit? I know this is like 2003. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing it's for like. Future, I see, I see. It's like, oh, right, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's got like all these like interesting, um, PlayStation Underground. Oh, I think that's supposed to be NBA Street Volume Two. I think it's supposed to be the Getaway. I've heard about this game before, the Getaway on the PlayStation Two. I remember that. Primal, hell yeah, I remember that game. Classic shit. Uh, ATF, I, ATF, ATV. Sorry. ATV, which I definitely do know about. Oh, of course, classic Silent Hill. Fuck yeah, Silent Hill, baby. Silent Hill 3. You already know that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, that's 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 what that was. Yeah, NBA, NBA Streets Volume 2. Yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. Now I, now I freaking remember. Now I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was that. I have no idea what this game is, but it looks kind of interesting. So, yeah. Anyways, very rare, but cool. Thanks again, Lemon Gamer. Thank you for that, but I guess I'll check it out and see what this is all about. But, all right. Anyways, um, this is based off a movie. It's a PlayStation 1 game. It's a very, pretty much famous car movie. And no, it's not Fast and the Furious. Relax. It's not freaking Fast and the Furious, which, I mean, hey, that's, that's been a car series of its own for, what, over like a decade or two? <laughs> Like, over a decade or two at this point? Like, Jesus, there's, like, what? Like, ten fucking movies of, like, Fast and the Furious? There's no spin-offs. They're all just, like, sequel movies, too. Like, they've been, like, a shit ton of those movies. But, no, it's it's definitely not not Fast and the Furious. So, it's definitely not that. So, yeah. Anyways, this one, though, is a pretty um infamous one. Well, not kind of, but, like, very underappreciated. Like, it, like not like today, pretty much. 
Uh, this one in particular is definitely based off something cool. Uh, this is based off a movie that I did enjoy, and I actually got those little, like, appreciate love for the Mini Coopers. Of course, I'm talking about, Mini Cooper-wise, The Italian Job. Yes, based off the famous, well, I think this is the original Italian Job. Actually, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm missing a correction. I do apologize. I believe this is based off the original before the, yeah. Yeah, this is before, no, I could be wrong. I thought there was a, no, I thought there was an original Italian Job that, like, it was, like, 2000, what? 2003, something like that, when they made the actual Italian Job movie game or whatever. Oh, Rockstar actually produced this. I didn't know Rockstar made this. Wow, Vince's PlayStation 1 game. Jesus. But yeah, cool. All right. So now we're going to get to some of the movie stuff and then one last thing for unboxing. This one is from an actual actor. Uh, about you love him or hate him now, depending because of what he did, of course, at last year's Oscars. But yeah, uh, starting him and... It's a very good praise movie, but I do know some people may or may not have his problems with this particular actor now, considering, again, what he did in the fucking Oscars uh, about a year, year and a half ago. So, of course, I'm talking about the one and only Hancock. Yes, the movie Hancock. Pretty damn good, like, um, kind of underrated superhero type movie. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of, in a way, so... Very cool stuff, though. Really did enjoy this movie. You know, I did. I did remember watching this like way back in the day. So, very cool. Very nice. When does this movie come out? Two thousand and eight. Okay. Well, actually, so two thousand eight. I was probably like nineteen, I think, at the time. I had to be. Yeah. So I was like at least nineteen when this movie came out. So I was. I was definitely nineteen. Yes, I was definitely nineteen when this movie came out. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I was like, yeah, yes, I was about nineteen years old when this movie. Came out. So definitely I was like a year out of high school already at that point when Hancock actually came out. I do remember that. So anyways, yeah. Uh, right, now to get to the other movie thing. This I'm pretty sure you already know. Well, maybe already know, depending. It's one of the last two movies I definitely need for the Dragon Ball Z collection. And of course, it's got a killer kick-ass soundtrack. And one of the other few that uses the rock soundtrack, minus uh, Brawly, because we know the Brawly movie did it. With uh, Pandor Pen Penandoria with uh, uh, my skin is cold with fucking Burly, but no, this one had our beloved awesome uh, the Sturway. Yeah, Un wait, there's a Spanish version of this. The fuck, there's a Spanish version of this too. Wow, on this disc, I really didn't know that. Wow, that is crazy, but okay. But yeah, wow, um, okay, so, alright, so you got, like, you got some classic, classic stuff here, you also got, like, a freaking, you got Disturbed on this, oh, no, you got, like, Drown yeah, I remember Drowning Pool was on this, too, I remember Drowning Pool, I remember Drowning Pool made, yeah, Drowning Pool was also on this, well, there was Disturbed with the game, which is kind of funny, because with the Budokai soundtrack, we know the guy, Kenji Yamamoto, who basically now, unfortunately, is arrested now. When he made the Budokai soundtrack, he literally um, took, like, sound samples from different, like, songs. And, well, you know the whole story on that. So, which is why in the remastered versions of Budokai 1 and 3, the original music was taken out due to the whole controversy of... I mean, listen, I mean, the music, regardless, was still very kick-ass from what it was. And, you know, we're nostalgic for the music, but we never knew the truth about it until... Like, recently, out of recent times, it's just actually pretty crazy to think about this artist, which, you know, even Dragon Ball Kai, from when I watched in Kai, I do recognize some tracks do sound a little too movie-ish-like. Like, like for example, there's one that sounds like um, Star Wars or Avatar or whatever the fuck. It sounds like one of those big Hollywood hit movies. This is like, okay, you know what? I can, I can, you know what? You know what? I could sort of see that now. I could definitely, I could definitely see why now. And the writing was on the wall, but we just never really knew until I'm like, oh. And that's why the remastered versions of Budokai 1 and 3 back on PS3 and Xbox 360, they had to remove the original music from everything, just scrap it all together, because obviously of the whole uh, Kenji Momo situation and the, um, um, what the word, how the... Um, the, the whole sabotage mute, uh, the, um, uh, God, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, damn it. Um, I 
I mean, you know, you know what I mean. But anyways, yeah. So anyways, there's a song similar to that too. But Cool Intervention had some pretty cool soundtrack choices for Drowning Pool, Disturbed, etc. Oh wait, I already gave it away. Oops. But yeah, give it away, give it away, give it away now. No, Red Hot Chili Peppers was on that though. Though that would have been kind of cool if they were on the Dragon Ball Z, uh, the Dragon Ball Z movie. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only revenge of the um, awesome and powerful fighter brother himself, Frieza. Cooler's Revenge. Now, obviously, you saw I have the other movie, uh, uh, Return of Cooler, which is the metal cooler version. This is where the original one, how it all started. In the back, you got Piccolo. And here's a span the fuck? There's Spanish in the original Japanese dialogue. I mean, I know Japanese dialogue, obviously, but that too. But, like, Spanish, too? That's a, that's a whole nother can of worms I never thought. But, anyway, it's cool. So, yeah. Cooler's fucking revenge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, now that we got that out of the way, now we have one last thing. So, that's all the that's all the Lemon Gamer stuff, by the way. So, that's all the stuff that he had hooked me up with. I uh, want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, 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 no, I'm not. Okay, cool. So, one last thing, and this is an actual unboxing. This, obviously, is the most famous of all anime. You already know it. You know I make a lot of reaction slash reviews out of this. You basically, you know, already know that. You already know I make a lot of reaction slash reviews out of this. Don't need much of introduction. Of course, can we get much higher? So high. And it's real. It's too real. Speaking of too real, live action adaptation come up to Netflix very, very soon at the very end of the month. So look forward to that. I was going to do a reaction to those, but I wanted to kind of weigh it down on that, to be honest. I was like, you know, maybe I'll wait till I do like a review on it or something. So we'll see. I might do something like that, but we'll see. Anyways. Like, I wish I had forget to do what? <laughs> anyways. Um, so anyways, yeah, you already know it. Can we get much higher? So high. Become that greatness. Become that dream. Propel it to become king. This is One Piece Motherfucking Greatness. Season 13, Voyage 2. Wow, can you believe 13 season? Jesus. I mean, then again, both Japanese and the dub are both on season 14, so we're definitely caught up. Except that it's only, like, uh, streaming and digital right now. Uh, right now, we still got to get the rest of, like, season 13 and whatever 14 comes out. But, hey, I finally now have one of the second best arcs in the One Piece uh, in the anime. In the anime. Because it's still pretty top tier to me in the manga. But in the anime, it's definitely like second place. While in Wano, granted in the manga would have to be not like my my number one favorite. It's definitely my number one favorite as of right now in the anime. In the anime version, it's like my number one favorite because uh well a switch boom like when it comes to like yeah, when it comes to the new world wise, when it comes to new world wise, definitely in the beyond the moon like favorites. Especially come on, come on man, come on. We just had the recent episodes recently, man, honestly. Do I need to explain why? Okay, not really, but well it took a while to get to that point, but but hey, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite all time in the manga, but in the anime it's definitely succeeded over the moon and, and above. Definitely the best animated arcs and productions that the One Piece anime has done in a very, very long time. Surprisingly enough, considering how I feel about the Wano arc in the manga, but in the anime, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. So yeah, so definitely it is my number one favorite when it comes to the post time shift stuff and the anime, New World stuff, definitely Wano. Or maybe even out of the whole, even out of the whole when it comes to like everything, because the animation, all that stuff is definitely in that top tier range like especially that like whole cake definitely was there so you know we have like the fucking enos lobby stuff obviously so a lot even pre time skip stuff so the ones that have like the most great production values are the ones that i really enjoy and not ones that don't feel like too fillerish pretty much so anyways uh before i do the cover i mean you can already tell here's nami there's um uh, commander cracker and with the, the homies, you know, all the souls of Big Mom, Mama, 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 right there. All right, top tier emperor, just saying, just saying. So, gear for Luffy, blah, blah, blah. So, we're getting all the way up to the, I believe it just wraps up the fight between Commander Cracker versus Luffy is where we saw. I love these uh, Sulamet cover arts, by the way. I do love this because they actually get the scene where the episode, oh, yeah, with Nami with the, with the Vivi card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's pretty cool. And of course, there's really no need to introduce these, because come on, they're all pretty much the same shit. As I said, pretty much the set of the same shit. Honestly. So, there we go. <laughs> Basic, and that's all you need. But I do love the cover, though. The cover is very fucking sexy. Love the cover, though. Definitely like it. Definitely can't wait already, like, not too long from now, like, already a month. They're already flying by with these uh, voyages, which is good, because we know season 14's out digitally slash streaming right now. And yeah, it's streaming slash digital right now. But then probably next year will be on like Blu-ray and DVD and stuff. So I'm looking forward to recollecting that. Over the time. All right. So yeah, now that's one thing out of the recap out of the way. One piece right there. But let's get the recap of all the stuff that he's giving me. Cooler's Revenge. <laughs> Sorry, I love that song so much. Speaking of, the last movie, Lord Slug, definitely has all those cool rock... Mainly Disturbed. Disturbed really carry the American... Not the original Japanese sounder, but the American dub soundtrack, pretty much. Oh, whoops. And I forgot, of course, one more thing as well, which is the... Uh, yeah, this is awesome. This right here. Poster. Oh, yeah. Hancock. Italian Job. PlayStation 1. Brr, brr. Um, uh, this other game, Prezar, <laughs> yeah, USB drive, really cool, uh, Shazam, this, uh, little Perry Potter medallion thing, that, um, yeah, the Pokemon bookmark, but this you already saw from, like, beforehand, and that's pretty much it, so, thank you all so, so much for joining me once again for the amazing hookup, shout out to Lemon Gamer once again, Definitely see you guys next month for that. Obviously, when it comes to September, do you remember September? Anyways, that's pretty much it. So yeah, already gonna be September, man. Jesus Christ, I cannot believe we're definitely very, very close. So very, very close indeed to September territories already. So yeah, so take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe and healthy. Doing these whack crazy times. It'll be wacky and crazy. And tell me what was your favorite down in the comment section below. Until then, take care. So. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, where you guys are at. Peace fuck out. Peace. Oh, whoops. Forgot to uh, do that. Sorry. Uh, peace, soul, love, chicken, grease, and the sky is the limit. And my good fans, you supporting what you read and what you watch. Yeah. Later.